Hey everyone, welcome back. Today we're looking at Polestar. Polestar partners with Mobileye for autonomous tech in the new Polestar 4 vehicle. This is quite an important step. I've driven a Polestar vehicle before, the Polestar 2. It had lane assist, which was quite good to experience in a Polestar vehicle. So if Polestar wants to bring more self-driving features to their vehicle, I'm all for it. I'm quite excited for Polestar going into this venture. So I've got some new articles on our website, Monument. Link is in the description. Do check it out. We've got some big news recently in the EV world and elsewhere, so hope you enjoy these articles. Now let's get back into our news. Now Polestar and Mobileye have announced a partnership to bring autonomous technology to the Polestar 4 vehicle, which may be implemented in other vehicles also. This will be achieved by using Mobileye Shuffer AV platform, manufactured and integrated by ECARX. Now this technology that's coming to Polestar, this platform, it's a comprehensive solution for autonomous driving. This cutting edge platform will enable the vehicle to drive itself safely and efficiently. This is quite good. I always hope Polestar would do something like this. Also Volvo doing something like this as well. But I always wanted them to do it more independently, kind of like Tesla. Tesla has created their FSD full self-driving software. They're currently working on it. It's always being worked on. It's always being improved. And I kind of wanted Polestar and Volvo to take a similar strategy. Now, they'll be working with a third party, which I think is, is an interesting path to take. And there's quite a few other automakers as well who want to invest in self-driving capabilities. So this is going to become quite common. Polestar seeks to meet its mission of providing world-class design, sustainability, and innovation with its cars. The upcoming collaboration with Mobileye Shuffer will finally afford customer the convenience of on-demand rides while at the same time ensure that performance electric vehicles maintain their focus of driver's engagement and thrilling dynamics. Now, when this news was officially released, I think it was around the 24th or 25th, the Polestar 4 began being delivered in China. Now, this is a huge milestone for Polestar, the fact that they started delivery of the Polestar 4 in China. This is such a huge moment for Polestar, I'm surprised it didn't get its own attention, its own articles written about just the Polestar 4 starting delivery. This is a huge milestone. This is the second vehicle Polestar is bringing to the market that they will have being manufactured year in and year out. Of course, there was a Polestar 1, but that's limited in, in numbers. The Polestar 2 is the main vehicle. Now the Polestar 4 will be the second vehicle on the road for Polestar. That'll be being sold quite rapidly. Before the end of the year, we will outsell the amount of Polestar 1 that are already on the road. There's only 1,500 Polestar 1s on the road. Well, before the end of the year, we will sell more Polestar 4. I'm quite sure of that. The Polestar 4 is indeed coming for a world release that is planned for 2024 next year. So this vehicle could well start being driven around in European countries and in the USA as soon as Q1 next year. This is great. This is within the next six months, ladies and gents, not to mention the Polestar 3 SUV, the big SUV, the main flagship SUV that's coming to the market in 2024 as well. It has been delayed. And that wasn't the only thing that was delayed. The EX90 was also delayed. They're built on the same platform. They're virtually the same vehicle with slightly different design, interior and exterior, and of course, under the bonnet. But most of that vehicle, it's quite similar. They're basically twins. They just look a little bit different. So this vehicle established a technology base featuring mobile eye supervision. This is the Polestar 4, in fact. This is base advanced driver assistant system. Its autonomous driving capabilities provide hands-off and eye-off highway navigation from point A to point B. So essentially what you're telling me is that the Polestar 4 is coming along with self-driving features. I love the idea of this. I love the idea of testing this vehicle, making some content about this vehicle, and possibly even having one of these vehicles one day. I love the fact that Polestar is bringing a lot of technology to the Polestar 4. Now, additionally, it will be coming with eyes on automation in designating operation conditions. I don't really know what that means, but it sounds wicked. Can't wait to get this vehicle on the road. It's such a lovely vehicle. More images of these vehicles have been popped up of these vehicles being delivered. Here's an image of the Polestar 4 in light golden yellow. Absolutely beautiful. Seriously, 
the market will love this vehicle. Not just the Asian market, but I think the European market and the American market will love this vehicle as well because it's a little bit higher off the ground than a usual sedan. You know, it's not the usual sedan. It's a little bit higher because they want it to be an SUV. It's more of a sport back coupe SUV. It's such weird to say, but, you know, I think ultimately we need to see this vehicle in person to determine if it feels like an SUV. Does it drive like an SUV? Is it really an SUV? Will we know? Well, time will tell. By the way, the best way to keep up to date with our information is to follow my Twitter account, of course. You can also subscribe to the newsletter on the Monument. I haven't really been sending much newsletters lately, but I'll assure you I've still been posting a few articles here and there on the website. We spoke about the new Volvo EM90. That's coming in November, That, by the way. Well, we didn't speak about it, but I wrote an article about it. We've been writing some articles, especially about the new fiscal vehicles. I need to make videos about those as well. Now, let's get back to my article. Thomas Ingeloth, our CEO, he has a statement, and I quote, We're very keen to push innovation in our performance electric vehicles, together with mobile eye. We know that driving yourself is not always fun and exciting. It is for me, but I get what they're saying. So this technology means our customers could enable autonomous driving when they want, making all future journeys enjoyable. Yes, Polestar, bring the full technology. I really want it. Not to mention, I hope they bring Sentry Mode in this car. Sentry Mode, it's a popular feature that's on many Teslas. All Teslas, in fact. However, there's few other companies, if any, who've actually adopted or created their own version of Sentry Mode. Sentry Mode makes me want to buy a vehicle. In fact, one of the reasons I wouldn't buy a Polestar 2 is because it wouldn't have Sentry Mode. At least not yet. Not just in front of the vehicle and at the rear, but at the sides of the vehicle as well. I want more cameras on my vehicle and I want it to be able to record any vandalism while I leave my vehicle. It's such an important feature. We need it in more EV vehicles. Not just EV vehicles, but other vehicles as well. Supervision and Shaffer are both powered by Mobile Eye IQ system on chip. Now, there's also RSS driving policy and a 360 degree surround camera system. Very good. Very nice. Harnessing the power of Mobile Eye REM technology. Both solutions provide access to the Mobile Eye Roadbook map. Upgrade and supervision on a higher level. Shaffer integrates with IQ6 and uses advanced radar and LiDAR sensors for eyes off autonomous functionality, showing how these existing eyes on system can enable full autonomous driving. And we've got another quote as well. This is from the CEO of Mobile Eye, and I quote. We congratulate Polestar on innovating in consumer vehicles through this program and we're proud of our continued work with Geely Group in adopting our technology portfolio. Mobile Eye Shuffer will offer consumer a safer, accessible way to enjoy autonomous vehicles as the next revolution, personal transportation. It's the pinnacle of two decades of our experience applying AI in more than 150 million vehicles worldwide. That's pretty damn good. So clearly, Mobile Eye is quite a bigger business than we can ever expect. I will start working on another article and another video about the Polestar 4 starting delivery in China because this is huge news that needs to be shared. More people need to know. Yeah, we need to be quite excited about this because this will make a big difference for Polestar towards the end of the year. Not to mention in deliveries. Deliveries. This will make a big difference in deliveries. And that's what we want to accomplish is more deliveries before the end of the year. So I hope you enjoyed this video. Thank you for watching. If there's any type of content that you want on the website or on the YouTube channel, let me know so I can start working on it. Anything to do with finance, technology, electric cars, just let me know and we can consider working on some more content. Hope you've been enjoying the content so far though. Thank you for watching and I'll see you in the next video.